Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the workshop. Got a fun project for you today. Now I'm starting early because it's summer in Texas and the temperature is gonna be like seven degrees shy of cremation temperature today. Seriously, it's gonna be hot. But today I'm gonna build this. This is a kit that I got from Synthrotech as you can see. It includes all the parts you need to build like a cigar box guitar amp, or you know, you can use whatever you want for an enclosure, but you have to actually build the circuit board with this kit, and it also includes a little small speaker you, you see here and all the other things. Well, I happen to have a small cigar box here. My friend Steve gave this to me, so I'm going to use this to be the enclosure for the amp. So I know the kit comes with a tiny speaker, but I actually have this, and I don't remember where I got this to tell you the truth, but it's like a four inch speaker that I've had around for a while. I think it came out of an old radio or something. But the point is I'm gonna use this speaker instead of the speaker that it comes with. And then I'm also going to use this. This is a Switchcraft 12A shunted mono jack. And what it allows you to do is you can hook it between this and the speaker, between the power and the speaker. And when you plug a cable in, it disconnects the speaker. I've got a couple other videos about that. I'll link one of them up here and also in the description down below if you wanna check that out. The first thing I have to do is build the amp circuit. Okay, that took a little while, but I have the circuit together here. You can see we've got volume and gain pots up here that will be mounted to the box. We've got an on off switch down here or over here that'll be mounted to the box. This is our battery feed. And then we have our input jack and our output jack, which of course these two wires will go to the speaker. Okay, so besides the fact that I am dripping sweat, I think the box is ready here. Our volume gain and power knobs are gonna go here. Speaker will obviously go here. Input and output jacks will go on the side. I need to figure out which one's gonna be which. And then all the circuitry will sit back here in the back. So I guess it's time to start putting it together. Okay, folks, there we go. Here is the completed product. And boy, am I sweaty, man, it is hot out here. But anyways, you can see I put a couple knobs on the front here. I had that, that's just a piece of porch screen and I just put that in there to act as a, as a grow cloth on the speaker there. Um, I originally just drilled these holes, but then I realized that the this was too thick, the box was too thick. So I drilled a larger hole and uh, put, I put a little plate in each of there to, uh, to support the jacks. Uh, the only other thing I did that, that wasn't on camera is you can see right here, I just put a little piece of Velcro strap there to hold that battery so it doesn't flop around if you hold it. Other than that, I think it's ready to test out. Now, one thing I noticed right away, okay, so here's the switch. It's on, it's off, it's on, it's off. Can you tell? No, because there's no LED. And that's kind of a major oversight. Anyway, let's go plug it in inside. Okay, folks, I'm inside now. Air conditioning feels good. I'm definitely gonna need to take a shower after this because I am sweaty. But I grabbed my uh, Les Paul Jr. here, got it plugged into the new uh, combo I just built. I've got both of the knobs. Uh, so by the way, input, gain, power, volume, output is how I wired it. Um, so I've got both of them sort of at noon and uh, let's turn it on and I am, not oh. Turn the guitar up, dummy. Okay, so you can probably hear that. Okay, 
thing is not very loud at all. I was expecting it to actually be louder than that. Let's see what happens if I crank them uh, all the way up. Ah, <laughs> there we go. Let's do some power chords here. I'm gonna leave the, the gain cranked all the way up and I'm gonna turn the volume back a little and see what kind of sound we can get. That's not bad, that's not bad at all. Let's try the opposite. What if we uh, turn the the gain down a bit and we turn the volume all the way up. We do have this external uh, speaker jack, so let's try plugging it into a cabinet. I've got both the controls, I don't know, about two thirds, three quarters maybe. Uh, somewhere up there, and let's see what it sounds like like this. Okay, definitely louder now. So it definitely gets a little louder when you get a little more uh, speaker behind it. Let's see what this baby sounds like. with it to be quite honest is the fact that it doesn't have an led and i mentioned that out in the garage but it really does need an led because you know on off i mean there's not really anything to tell you that it's on i'm gonna go ahead and unplug everything here i think this thing looks really great like i really love the aesthetic of how it went together and everything i think it looks great like i said input uh gain power volume output so there you have it. That was the LM386 kit from Synthrotech. I'll put a purchase link in the description. Again, that's about a $25 kit. Of course, I added a few of my own things, but it does work as is. You just need to find a box to put it in. So, okay, folks, just a quick addendum to this video. So when I was doing the final thoughts there, I had mentioned, what if I had a light up switch and I could easily add an LED to the circuit? Well, I forgot, I have a couple of these. So this is what you'd use to add like fog lights to your car. It's just a basic toggle, but maybe you can see there, there's an LED built into the toggle. So I'm like, well, wait a minute. Why won't that work? A switch is a switch. So here you go here. I pulled the circuit out. This yellow one is going to the battery. The red one here is actually going to the circuit and the black one is going to ground. So if I hook this up correctly, we should get an LED. All right. And the amp circuit should be on, but I've got a loop pedal here to test it. Let's see. All right, you can definitely hear that's working. Um, so it does appear that it's gonna work. So I just need to go back and uh, drill the hole a little larger for that switch and mount that switch and wire it up. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I need to go take a shower.